anyways, once all the people are traced out in the imagery, then it's time to start picking fabrics. Check out this stash I got going over here. Crazy. Oh yeah, there's my ultra cool sewing machine. I think I've showed that off before. This pile we've got going in here is as many black and gray, whites, creams, all of these kinds of things we're looking for. But you got to find those really great pieces. Like check this one out right here. This is going to make great texture. Um, these are some of my favorites when you find this kind of stuff for hair, right? Because we've got to create humans out of fabric. This is going to be good for hair. Um, this, not so good for hair. I'm going to choose, like, let's say for the mom here, I'm going to take and pick, like, maybe five, six, seven different pieces of fabric for her. And I'll try to keep those exclusive, um, three or four to her, and I'll share those with others. That way we get the value. Hey, me again. You're up there. How fun is this? Hanging from a paper towel rack. Probably not safe. Anyways, this step, what we're going to do now is we're going to take and build with our fusible web. And yes, of course, it's heat and bond light super light heat and bond love this stuff anyways i'm going to lay this over here and believe it or not i'm going to try to find a good spot where i can trace and see the pieces of her face okay i'm back all the lights are out except for the light table light and you can see the difference here now i still have the fusible web right on top but i can still see all of my tracings and at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to find those lines i've created and just give you one big outline of the shape I choose to use. I like to start with the person's hair. It gives me a nice place to lay out. Um, and I'm also gonna make like a big round or oval shape for the face. That will be the big background color. It makes it much easier that way to have um, all the little highlight pieces lay on top. That way the background color just shows through like I do with my animal quilts. Okay, so once we hit this phase here, you can see that I just kind of take it one piece at a time. I just trace a couple of the different images as I go. Um, with these portraits, I'll tell you this much, you can't do too much work in advance. You just got to take it one piece at a time or you'll forget something crucial. The shading is really tough. So it's not something you can fly through. This is one of those take it slow, enjoy the process style quilts. After this, I'll cut out the individual pieces, iron under the fabric, I'll show you a bit of that, and then I'll start cutting them out and layering. This is definitely not a quick task, but certainly a great one. Okay, that's the back side of the fabric. Here comes the piece for the hair. Oh, that was my son's bike. He's seven. So he got out of his bike out in the garage, right? Position it so we're not wasting any real fabric there. And away we go. Let that cool a little bit. Cut it out. Move on.